Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm just doing a quick video. Um, I know it's really annoying, but try to ignore the black splotches. My camera dropped on the desk, and well, now it's like this. You see all the little black splotches. But anyways, this is... Come on. Okay. This is going to be a quick startup and walk around during idle before I install my new CNC fabrication um, I, I got the high pressure crossover lines to connect both heads so we're going to go ahead and start it up let it idle out walk around and we'll tell see if we can tell the difference from when we change the line over sweet about normal startup Up the hood. And we are back. So, just got the lines installed. I'll run through the process in a second. Really, why is it focus? Really simple, really easy. Takes about 10 minutes. And you only need two different tools. But I found it easy with a couple of the things. And I'll show you when we started it up. This is the idle. And do the walk around. I'll shut it off. And we'll go from there. All right. So, starts up, pretty much the same, nothing new, nothing fancy, let's go take a look around. So I don't know about y'all, but as far as startup, I see about the same. Um, idle, I can't tell a slight difference. It's not as loud. Like as far as what people call the knocking noise, is basically explosion, whatever you know what I'm talking about. It does seem a little bit quieter. Not like a little Toyota Camry quiet, but quieter. So let's go through the process real quick and I will show you how I got the lines in. So when you get it, I don't know if yours will come instructions, mine did not, I have to Google it. You're gonna have two separate pieces. You're gonna have this piece on the front right here and then you're gonna have a connecting piece that's gonna be the hose. Now you're gonna wanna screw this first 45 degree angle bit in as far as you can to us at an angle where you want it with your to line up with your hose go to the other side and once you're at an angle that you like go down and tighten this bottom bolt and I believe that's a 5 16 I'll double check I'll let you know real quick and then you run it through right through the hole same process on this side put in your angle piece connect the hose really simple um, you can either just, if you can if you have a, a stubby wrench or something like that where you can reach back in there that's great but if not I disconnected boot pulled the intercooler pipe forward a little bit so I had a little more room and then on the driver's side I disconnected 
the hose clamp and pull the air cleaner out and that gave you a whole bunch of room that's this driver's side was just easy like it was nothing the hardest part was figuring the angle for the line to go to the drive to, to the uh, passenger side and then tools that I ended up using for my project Just to make things go quicker, if you have something more not as abrasive to grab the nuts, just put them down quicker, great. Or if you have a wrench that's the actual size, even better. Now for those little nuts in the 45 degree elbow, you're going to need a 5 8 my mistake. 5 8 open, close, do it real quick. If you have a stubby, probably be a little bit better, but you're going to have to watch your torquing on it. Because your stubby, you're not going to have full torque power on it, like you would a full. And then I don't have the correct socket, so I had to use a little wrench, adjustable. Some people call them monkey, some people call them pipe, call it what you want to call it. For the air cleaner, intercooler pipes, I used 8mm extension long for the air cleaner. And then the intercooler pipes are also, well not also, but they are a 12mm. And that's all you're really going to need to do this job. If you want, you need an extension. And a rag. Because your hands are going to get filthy. Especially if you haven't washed your engine bay in a very long time. Well, that's pretty much it. Really simple. Great product. Um, I'll let y'all know how it is in a week or so. So I drive it around, get some miles on it, and see if I can tell any difference. Alright, bye-bye.